Hey there, in today's video we will cover how to create interactive content with uh, image hotspots. So as the name says, the H5P image hotspots enables you to create images with interactive hotspots where each uh, spot can be associated with text, images, videos or audios. This can be particularly useful if you are teaching uh, online or blended courses to provide learners with more in-depth information or uh, engage them in an interactive learning experience. Before we move on uh, to activity ideas, please uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. You can use image hotspots for different content. One of the uh, possible example is uh, language learning vocabulary builder. Uh, you can use images uh, related to a specific theme such as kitchen, bedroom or city. Place hotspots on different objects within the image, uh, labeling them with the names uh, in the target language. Users can click on the spots to hear pronunciations, see translations or access uh, example sentences. Another idea is a health and wellness anatomy guide. For that, you just upload an image uh, of the human body at hotspots to different organs or body systems, including information on the functions of uh, each organ and tips for maintaining health. Last suggestion is for geography exploration. You can upload a world map or a map of a specific region. Place hotspots on different uh, countries or landmarks, providing information about the culture, uh, history or geography of uh, each location. I'll stop with these three examples here and move to a tutorial. Meanwhile, you can share in the comment section how would you use image hotspots uh, in your practice. For this tutorial, I use the first example, language learning uh, vocabulary builder. Let's imagine that as a language teacher, uh, you are covering the topic of uh, nutrition or food. You want the students to learn types of uh, vegetables and their benefits for their uh, health uh, in an interactive way. Let's move to my laptop to set this content type in H5P. As usual, make sure that your edit mode is on. We will go to add an activity and resource. Click on H5P. I'll name it as barbecue with friends. You can add your description if needed. And uh, next we will click on this content bank. And in the content bank, we click on add, we scroll down to find image hotspots. Let's expand the window. So the title is going to be barbecue with friends. As a background image, I add what is already downloaded. So as a hotspot icon, I will go with the predefined icon, but you can also upload image. Because I already have everything on my background image, and it's already overwhelming with uh, items. I'll just go with the icon. In the predefined icon, you can also select from these options which one you would like to choose. I will just go with plus. You can also select the color of your choice if you want it to be visible. I'll probably will just go with white and I'll choose it. If you make it bigger, you see this dot. So when you look at your background image, you see this small dot and that is the dot that actually shows where is your spot. And you need to put this dot on the spot that is needed. I'll put on here because that's where I want to add my information. Next, as a header, I'll type tomato. And then as a pop-up content, I'll choose text. For the text, I'll put the information that I have already prepared. And then I'll add next hotspot and on my next spot, I again magnify it and do zucchini. Again, as a content item, I'm choosing text, just copying 
from the previous one you can add another item which i'm going to do and as a content item you can choose uh, another text video image audio so on and so forth i'll go with the video and the video will be easiest recipes with zucchini next i click here there are two options you can either upload the video file or uh, paste the link from um, video resources so i'll just put the youtube video here insert so in the playback you can decide whether you want to autoplay the video or not or whether you would like to have it in a loop so i don't want neither so i'll just skip this one and uh, move forward i'll add next hotspot and that will be eggplant as a header i'll put eggplant or aubergine and i'll have my text and as a next item i choose audio i'll call it as a secret of eggplant and then as a source and file again you can either upload audio file or uh, paste the link so i'm just pasting the link from the podcast the player mode i'll leave it as a minimalistic you can again enable autoplay or fit to wrapper i'll skip the both and i'm proceeding to save and we will save this so that's how it looks like let's um, expand the screen so i see my plus signs by the way i changed the color because when it's fully white icons are not visible when i click on zucchini uh, i can see yeah, the description that i put and the video link the same here with tomato um, i have all the necessary information it was also possible to add some images which i didn't and in the eggplant or aubergine and the same unfortunately my browser doesn't support the audio so i cannot show how it would look like but i hope that uh, it's not going to be the case uh, in your browser or on your device okay and now because we saved the in the content bank i'll click here just select file save and return to the course now we have it visible for our learners in one hotspot you can use as many items as you want just don't overwhelm your students with information before i finish this video there are some tips for you uh, first uh, have two things in mind when selecting a background image the image will be scaled proportionally to fit the uh, maximum uh, weights of the container in which it's placed therefore choose an image with a suitable resolution remember to add any license or copyright information associated with the background image uh, you use for example uh, i took this picture uh, from pexels.com you can actually find the uh, nice pictures with high quality there second make sure that the uh, activity completes your content and is part of your content clearly define the educational objectives uh, of your interactive image ensure that each hotspot contributes to the overall learning goals whether it is providing information testing knowledge or fostering exploration third place hotspots strategically to draw attention to specific points of interest within the image ensure that the hotspots are well distributed and don't overcrowd the image and uh, finally if the interactive image is part of a course or ongoing project be prepared to update it as needed you should regularly review the content to ensure accuracy and relevance that's it for today share in the comment how would you use image hotspot in your course to get new ideas for your course subscribe to this channel and hit the bell see you in the next video